Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. NFL players kick off first preseason game with nasty surprise worse than kneeling. It seems like the entitled overpaid athletes still haven't learned their lesson from the last few seasons of dwindling ratings of the NFL. Some of them are already off to a bad start with their generic nonsense and protests and it's only preseason. Do they really want to watch their league and career turn into the next arena football league when people stop watching? Before the real season even starts, we're already being bombarded with nonsense protests. Just a little reminder, no one cares about the protests folks. It's fake news and it's abusive of their time while they're at work and supposed to be working, not protesting. Can anyone else protest at work? Not really. The first bit of nonsense was when Super Bowl champs, Philadelphia Eagles, squared up against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Philly defensive back Malcolm Jenkins raised a fist during the national anthem. The Miami Dolphins' Kenny Stills, W.R., and Albert Wilson also kneeled during their game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, whose Robert Wilson also took a knee. Not everyone was excited about it and the protests are what has turned a lot of fans away from the league in general. NBC News Several NFL players took a knee raised their fists or stayed off the field as the national anthem played before preseason games on Thursday, protests which last year were attacked by President Donald Trump and which spawned a league policy that was criticized by some as a capitulation. One of those players was Philadelphia Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins, who raised a fist during the anthem before the team's game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, NBC Sports reported. The NFL champion Eagles famously had a White House visit cancelled by Trump in June after it became clear many players would not attend. Before we enjoy this game let's take some time to ponder that more than 60% of the prison population are people of color, Jenkins said in a tweet before Thursday's game, in which the Eagles lost 14-31. The NFL is made up of 70% African Americans. What you witness on the field does not represent the reality of everyday America. We are the anomalies. He said. Miami Dolphins wide receivers Kenny Stills and Albert Wilson kneeled during the anthem, and defensive end Robert Quinn stood and raised his right fist during the team's exhibition game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, according to NBC Miami. Former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who began the protest of not standing during the anthem in 2016 in what he said was a gesture on behalf of people who were oppressed because of their race, in a tweet Thursday thanked Stills and Wilson for taking a knee. Football is entertainment. Fans pay for gear, parking, drinks, food, tickets, and more, and everything is overpriced and expensive just so the players can earn their millions while the blue-collar fans barely scrape by, making less in a month than some of these players do in a few days. Some fans think NFL players who protest should be fired. It's a shame that the NFL headed in this direction back in 2016 when Colin Kaepernick sealed his fate and hasn't been back to the league ever since. People don't want their entertainment ruined by social justice warriors who want to protest. People use football as a form of escapism and it's something they enjoy, so bringing politics and lame social justice protests into it is not exactly wanted. It's time to put the protests to rest and the players should send their message on their own time. Maybe someone might actually listen. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.